What's up everybody, it's Nick. In this video, I'm gonna show you what I think are the best free VST effects you can get right now. These effect plugins are available for both Mac and Windows, and we'll have the download links available at the top right of the screen, as well as the description. The first plugin we have is Supermassive from Valhalla DSP. This is an amazing reverb plugin with eight unique modes. Uh, named after celestial objects, so that's really fun. And honestly, the reverb sounds amazing compared to any stock reverb in a, a DAW. I think it's definitely worth getting. Here are some examples. I want you and only you. 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 I got nothing left to lose Oh -ho. So you can just hear very characteristic reverbs, definitely worth getting. So the other plugin I'd recommend by Valhalla DSP is Freak Echo, short for Frequency Echo. And this is actually, I think, their original plugin. This is a simple but very solid sounding echo plugin that's gonna give you low cut and high cut controls for the feedback path. It also has tempo controls, which will allow some nice rhythmic variations on your echoes. So next we have Pancake 2 by Cable Guys, and this is a panning modulator plugin, meaning it can execute really complex panning automation uh, through this pretty simple UI. You can click and draw your own panning curves and save presets. There's a, also an LFO tempo sync on the right hand side. So this will create some really cool movement in your sound. Next, we have Vinyl by Isotope, and this simulates dust, scratches, warp, and mechanical noises reminiscent of past decades. You can definitely throw it on keys, guitars, even drums, and vocals to make it give it a lo-fi feeling or an aged retro feeling. All right, next we have two plugins by X for Records, and that is OTT and Dimension Expander. So OTT is a multiband upwards and downwards compressor, uh, meaning it controls and sculpts your dynamics. And I believe it's modeled after the very popular OTT device in Ableton uh, used by many bass music producers. <laughs> So you can hear the high and mids are being really brought out because they're not as loud uh, in the original sound source, but OTT is going to kind of level off the dynamics. And we can further sculpt it here on the right and control the amount of upwards and downwards compression or expansion that's going on. Dimension Expander is pretty simple. It just is going to give us a wider sound. If we increase the dry wet and the size, that's essentially the two parameters we can use. Next, we have Ozone Imager 2 by Isotope, and this will actually help us kind of create a wider sound and um, actually also see kind of the width of the incoming. So it's good for also analyzing your stereo imaging. We have the width parameter, which is gonna apply the amount of gain on the sides, and then the stereoize, which will kind of create a Haas effect where it kind of de-links the left and right, giving us a wider feeling. Yeah. 
The next plugin is also a stereo imaging plugin. It makes the sound wider, and that is Infected Mushrooms Wider by Polyverse. It is a very simple UI, pretty kind of sick UI though, where we're gonna do the percentage of the width. I love the simplicity, so sometimes it's nice to just throw it on and you know the exact parameter you're going for, which is the width. Uh, let's hear it on the guitar. All right, so I'm gonna create an effect chain using these free effects in a work in progress I have here. And this is first the Valhalla Supermassive going into the Isotope Vinyl with Pancake 2 modulating at the end. So here's the main melodic sample dry. So I added super massive to give it some reverb. Then vinyl to give it some crackle. And pancake two to give it some movement. The other characteristic part of this beat is this choir stab. And these are two instances of Omnisphere. And we do have a little of the uh, Freak Echo on one of the instances here. On the group of vocals, we have an instance of OTT to flatten the dynamics. So let's take a listen to that. So here it is without any OTT. That Freak Echo gets lost because it's kind of softer, but when we turn the OTT on, listen. So OTT adds that crispiness to the choir, um, which really helps it kind of stand out. All right, next we have Nova EQ, which is by Tokyo Don. And this is actually one of the only free dynamic EQs I know of, meaning that you can set thresholds uh, on your EQ. And if the audio gets to that threshold, the equalizer actually reacts to the audio, so it's a dynamic, it's reactive. That's really helpful because that means you can have a little more organic and subtle EQing um, because then it will only maybe push down the highs when uh, a certain threshold is met. Next, we have Span by Voxengo. This is an audio spectrum analyzer and really helpful for visualizing you know, your master. You can set up multi-channel analysis where you take audio from multiple tracks and display them in different colors at the same time. So that's really helpful for comparing uh, if two tracks are clashing against each other. This next plugin is actually a bundle of free plugins and this is the M Free Effects Bundle by Melda Production. These are quintessential tools that any producer would need. A lot of these are dynamic plugins or utilitarian. For example, they have a great oscilloscope so that you can preview your waveform. They even have an auto-tune plugin and a fun little notepad. So the last two plugins I really recommend you get are Fracture and Hysteresis by Glitch Machines. These two are gonna really create some wild sounds and are very sound designy. Fracture is a buffer effects plugin geared towards electronic musicians and sound designers. And you can use them from anything from drum synths, uh, you know, keys, anything really. Uh, it's gonna create some really wild sounds. So here's some Fracture. One's pretty wild. That's kind of cool. I would resample that for sure. Yeah, that has some really nice movement to it. 
The next one, Hysteresis, is a glitch delay, also very much geared towards electronic musicians and sound designers. And it features a feedback-based delay, some stutter effects, a low-pass filter, um, some modulation effects, uh, you know, a lot of presets. <laughs> Cool, so I've combined some of those free plugins into a work in progress. Let's take a listen. So yeah, this idea was built off of this splice loop, um, which is a really, really catchy synth sound. Uh, I put a uh, instance of the Valhalla Supermassive for reverb, uh, which we talked about at the beginning of the video. And I've automated that dry, wet, super wet, you know, 100% wet at the beginning. So it sounds like a wash of sound. I have an instance of fracture and hysteresis that automate uh, on a little bit, just a little bit on, um, at different points here at the drop. I've got span on my master so I can visualize the kind of overall loudness at the drop. Great, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be releasing videos weekly. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss a video. As always, I hope you all stay positive and healthy. Stay inspired. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see everyone next time. Later, y'all.